To learn more about early humans, one USF researcher starting from the ground up. We're looking at uh, the proportions of trees and grass, which is particularly interesting for human evolution on the landscape back to about 8 million years ago. USF geologist Jonathan Wynn studies the landscape of early human habitats to gain insight to the human's physical makeup. He and other international scientists spent their time in Ethiopia. While chimpanzees stayed in the rainforest and often walked on all fours, early humans ventured out to the open savanna and walked upright. Wynn and his fellow researchers are studying how the environment may have forced early humans to adapt and learn new skills. Uh, the, the types of, of resources you might find in a savanna are very different than the types of resources, the types of foods available, the types of materials that might be available to use as tools are very, very different between savannas and, and rainforests. Next, Wynn will gather and study tiny amounts of tooth enamel. He hopes a chemical analysis will give them more understanding to other aspects of early human life. We have a picture of, of what the environment was like that uh, Lucy and, and Salam and, and many of these other uh, human ancestors lived in. The next step is, is trying to understand what they were eating. And that next step will put Wynn where this all began millions of years ago, back in Africa. For USF News, I'm Amy Mariani.